All right, so we're going to be taking a look at Warframe on VMware on Ubuntu, but VMware Player 12.5, I think. I want to point out that I'm using a Xbox 360 controller for this game because Warframe is really best for console. Like it works fine with the keyboard and stuff, but I think it runs pretty well with a console controller. So this is the ship. Whoa, I gotta turn my my audio down. That's really loud. Alright, so here's the ship. I turned the frame rate thing on at the top right. In Paladins, uh, apparently there's a way to do that, but I, I, I'm not sure how. Given that it's a Steam game, I could have just turned on the Steam overlay like this, but uh, I didn't. So I turned it on here. I can't tell if the game is pegged at 60 because it never seems to go above 61. And when I'm just looking out, I mean, like it can go higher like this is it could go higher than 60 so I think that it is pegged at 60 so I guess what can you do so I've already beat the first level like the tutorial thing so we're gonna go restore our ship comms pretty simple level I've beat it before on another system so I kind of know how all this works And I think that it runs pretty well. I mean, it's playable. There are times when it gets pretty choppy. But it's it's nothing too bad. It's nothing bad to me anyways. I know that not everybody has the same tolerance for... The segment you need is in a nearby data vault. Infiltrate the vault and retrieve the segment. I don't remember starting here. The Ascaris is working. Breaking through, I see the shadows of your mind. Yeah, this is really weird. I don't remember starting here. I swear on this level you started outside. Weird. This data vault is equipped with a variety of security measures. How you defeat those measures is up to you. So I tried to play this with the Steam controller, but unfortunately it didn't seem to matter. Oh crap. On my other account or system or whatever, I play with mag and there I just would have used pull. This is Excalibur. But uh, what I was saying about the Steam controller. Oh wow, the frame rate drops pretty low here. I guess it's because there's just a lot going on. Like if I look that way, it's fine. But I guess there's just so much like lighting and stuff going on that it's taking a toll. The Steam controller will only work using a mouse and keyboard emulation, which is not what I want. Oh, what? Jeez. I, it's not too bad. I mean, I don't, I don't have much of a problem with it. I wish it got higher frame rates. This is the graphics are probably medium, medium high as the defaults. When I try to, when I do these demos, I try to keep it as, as default as possible. Default meaning whatever the game thinks is best for my system. I don't know if that's a great idea because it's virtualized. <clears throat> so just because I have like a quad core processor and stuff because everything is being virtualized it may that may be kind of like an unrealistic expectation I mean you can't expect native performance native on Linux or native on Windows if you're running in a VM it just doesn't work that way so see now I'm up to 62 frames so I'm pretty damn sure that the game is pegged at 60 around 60 hey what the hell the target console is nearby if you trigger the alarms now, oh, the enemy will start destroying data. All right. So let's not let him destroy data. Wow, I don't remember this. When I did this before. Like a lot of this level is the same, but some of it's not. It's kind of weird how they randomize it. Like this time I started inside of a building and... What's up, dude? This is a really great game. It's 
it's almost underrated. Like, I didn't even know it existed until I was watching... I can't remember who. I was watching somebody on YouTube and they mentioned it, and I looked it up, and I'm like, how the hell have I never heard of this game? Excellent work. A clean extraction with no alarms. The segment is yours. Head to extraction. It's pretty clearly a console game, though. As every moment passes, the Ascaris burrows deeper, revealing you. Yeah, the story is, is kind of, like, weird. It seems disjointed because none of it's really explained. Like, if I hadn't already played a decent amount of the game, I'd have to... I mean, if, you, if you're watching, you don't know Warframe, you have no idea what's going on. Don't worry, if you just started playing the game, you would still have no idea what's going on. But... But yeah, this game is definitely a console port. Like the controls are are very well suited to a console, like a controller, which isn't necessarily that's not a bad thing. I don't think. I mean, that's just fine. Like a lot of people complain about console ports, and and there are a lot of a lot of console ports, like console to PC ports, that just totally suck, and that's a shame. But a lot of times the controls are simplified in a way that you don't need a massive keyboard to use it. And I, I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, you know, it depends on the game. Like, uh, Skyrim is an example of a game where they did it totally wrong. Like, they went way overboard trying to make that specific to a, like, a game console controller. But I, I think Warframe, I think this game, there's a, a pretty good balance. I mean, you, you could play it with a keyboard. I just... I just prefer not to. Maybe it's because I I've been playing with a with a controller anyway, so I'm used to where the where all the buttons are. But one thing I will say about controllers that they'll probably never fix. I think the Steam controller probably came closest to fixing it. Is I I personally cannot aim for shit with a with a cons with a like a console controller. I cannot. I am so freaking bad at aiming. I don't know how people get headshots and stuff. It is awful. Like the thumbstick is really great for movement. Like you got two thumbsticks and you can really fine tune where you're going and stuff. But when it comes to shooting and stuff, I don't know. I've, I've never been good at it. I've been I've been playing on consoles for a long, long time, and I've never gotten good at it. But with the Steam controller, because the right thumbstick, or where the right thumbstick would be, is actually a trackpad that makes it significantly easier. So I think this is it. This is the last part of the mission, is it? I thought it was. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, either way, I'm going to end the mission when I get to the end here. Which I thought was close. I might as well collect all this stuff. I'm probably not going to keep playing it after this video, to be honest, because I've, I've got another profile on a, on a different system. And um, I'll talk about that other system, by the way. I've, I've referred to it like a few times. But I'll talk about it towards the end of the year, which is, you know, like a couple weeks. But it's kind of a, not really an announcement, but it's kind of a thing. And it warrants a video all on its own. But it is a game console. And I will reveal it at the end of this month, which is, you know, the end of the year. A lot of these guys. Whoops. Excalibur is really cool. Like, Meg is cool too. I like her abilities, but Excalibur's sword is awesome. Meg has a bow, and I think Excalibur can have a bow too, but the sword is sweet. Bow's kind of lame. Like the bow staff, by the way. Not like a literal bow. Which there are literal. There is a bow. Like, I could have chosen a bow and arrow over the assault rifle, but <clears throat> I did not. Oh, there's the landing pad. I'm like, where the hell am I going? There's nobody else here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get back to the ship and kind of see what's going on. Come on, I usually shoot those. And that's it. Great work. I am pleased with your performance. You know what? I am too. I'm pretty pleased with the performance. You know, keep in mind that the performance of... of 
what you're going to see in a virtual machine greatly depends on your system, like massively depends on, on your system, more so than just a native game. Like with a native game, put another GPU in it, it's fine. With virtualization, you got to have a you have to have a, a good motherboard, a good processor, a lot of RAM, and you know so on. So I, I'd say that my system's probably middle of the road, and performance is uh, acceptable. Orbiter void cloak engaging. Welcome back, operator. So the operator has recovered. A yeah, segment. I think that's going to wrap it up. Cool.